Hello, it's Denise, and I am back again with another deck collection video. This will be part two. Um, the first part, I did 12 decks. I'm hoping to do a few more, so I'm going to try to move quickly. Um, and I'm going to start with my um, one of my oldest decks that I have, which I just recently acquired um, a newer copy to use because I didn't want to ruin this one. <laughs> I'm beyond explaining myself right now. I just, I'm just crazy like that. All right. So this is Tarot of the Cat People by um, Karen Kuyendal. Kuyendal. <laughs> and um, these are the backs. The artwork is amazing. There's the tower. And I love it so much. The instruction book. Uh, guidebook kind of reads like a sci-fi uh, fantasy book. Um, it's so interesting and kind of fun and it's just really different than all the other decks in my collection. And on top of that, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, so Tarot of the Cat People. Definitely keeping this one because, um, well, I, I'm keeping this copy for sure because, you know, sentimental value and all. Um, but I actually, uh, I just did the, the tarot tag, the, my first tarot, and I got so into it. I'm like, I want to use it again. But the reason I hadn't been using it was just because of the, I didn't want to ruin that deck because I've had it so long. And so I got another one. Anyway, I've been using it all the time now. So that's awesome. Oh, and this is one of my backup decks. Let's see. So I won't leaf through it right here. It's still in the classic. That actually surprised me because I thought this was one that I had open. I have, this is the Robin Wood Tarot by Robin Wood. I actually have three copies of this deck. <laughs> At least three. I have one, um, my older one. No, I can't reach it right now. I have my older one that's kind of bent and falling apart that I just use for tarot spells. And then I have um, a newer one, a newer edition with like newer, um, more plasticky cardstock. Um, this is a Llewellyn deck. And um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I use that one for readings. And then this is my backup of that deck. So yeah, at least three. At least three three of the old Robin Wood, um, which is one of my all-time favorite decks of all time. So I'm, I wish I would have gotten one that was open. Anyway, so this is the Lover's Path Tarot by Chris Walter in U.S. Games. I was a big fan of her goddess uh, tarot, and um, I saw that she had another deck, and I was like, yes, please. Um, just because I like her artwork. This is um, based on mythology around, let's see, it says, classic love stories and myths from around the world. Uh, this is the back. So I thought this would be a fun deck to have. They're nice and like wide, like they're extra, <laughs> they seem extra wide and I really like that. And her artwork is just gorgeous and um, Although I don't remember all the myths and the stories, um, it's still fun. It's fun to read. And um, it's kind of a jumping off point. I'd like to learn more about some of the stories in here. And she does, um, trying to, she doesn't really say in the minors, but, um, okay, so I guess all each suit in the minors has a set of lovers. Maybe it's a whole story. I haven't used this one that much. This is from my same cabinet of, of decks that I haven't used that much. Um, but there's a little bit more on the majors in here. And I'd like to, even though it's just a little white book, I'd like to kind of read through it. I think there was a, a set. Um, I think it did have a set with like a bigger book. And I just want the book. But I don't know why I, I've been having trouble finding it. Maybe I'll have to look again sometime and see. Because I would like to know, um, you know, when the when they have myths and stuff in there, I want to know more about them. So, and this is my uh, 78 Tarot Nautical, Tarot of the Water, 
which is my first uh, 78 tarot deck that I got. And I just recently got the 78 tarot astral, which is amazing, but that should be in another video. And it has, I didn't get, um, I think there is a book that, that comes with this, or not that comes with, but that you could get. And I didn't, unfortunately, get that book because it was just very expensive. But this has this little, um, little information about all the cards. So that's been really nice. And I just love the nautical theme. The backs are very pretty. I just really love the, um, that's a fun little card. But like, I don't know, anything watery. I'm just really into. Oh, you got to love this one. And I like how they have the artist name on each uh, card because I have discovered um, artists that I didn't know about that I really like. And then I've discovered um, artwork by artists that I'm a fan of. And it was fun to see them in the deck. So love me some 78 Tarot Nautical. I need to get a better place to put that. I actually have a backup deck of this one, though. Thank goodness. <laughs> Let me get my backup decks. Okay, so this is a fun little one. The Hobbit Tarot. This is by Peter Prakownik and Terry Donaldson. And I have, unfortunately, hardly used this one at all. Um, except to go through it when I got it. It has a nice uh, guidebook. And I believe, you know, the whole thing is in English. So this entire little uh, book is, you know, all information on the deck. It's got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of good information in there. I just, it's been a long time since I've read The Hobbit. Um, I mean, I've read it more than one time, but it's just, um, oh, and look at the backs though. Um, yeah, I just, it's been a long time and I, and I kind of, I think I've been waiting to find time to read the book again, which would be so fun. It's, it's not like waiting to read a, a guidebook, waiting to read a lovely fiction book like The Hobbit, like, you know, that's exciting. Even though I do like, I like the guidebooks, they just, fiction reads so much better. <laughs> So this is intriguing to me, like some of these, like this is the Empress card. Oops, I'll throw it at you. And it's a bunch of guys sitting around from the looks of it. Um, I haven't read, like I haven't really used this. Um, Bilbo and Gandalf are united in the deepest bonds of spiritual love with their fellow companions on this great quest. Yeah, so there's no, there's not a woman in sight in this Empress card. So... Hmm. <laughs> as much as I love you, Hobbit, like, honestly, can we not just make somebody up, perhaps? I guess not. I don't know. But the, I mean, I do like the colors. It is very mystical. I like the artwork. You know, it's, uh, it's fun. And, um, and yeah. I would like to, I would like to try to use it someday, perhaps, or maybe this won't be one that I keep around, although I'm such a fan of The Hobbit, which is why I bought this deck. Why wouldn't I want a Hobbit? Um, why are these so hard to get back in these boxes? Like, honestly. Why, why, why? Tarot of a Moon Garden by Karen Marie Swikehart. And this was one of, um, this is just a deck that I thought, oh, that looks really fun. And I remember seeing this like a long time ago. And I think, I don't know if I, if I owned it as our card. Um, and then gave it away or what happened but um i saw it again and i'm like yeah yeah i definitely need tarot of a moon garden it just it just has like this vibe of like i don't know like i could my childhood like i don't know like just something about it really appeals to me and yet i don't use it so i'm not sure if i will keep this one or not actually as much as i love it I don't really use this one. But there's so much to like about it. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have just had all of these out. Maybe I'll do that. They just don't go back in the, they just don't go back in their little box very well. Maybe in the next video I'll be more prepared. So this is, uh, this is actually a really fun one. This is the Tarot of a Haunted House by Sasha Graham. Um, and the artwork is by um, Mirko Pier Federici. And um, I, <laughs> this one came out last year. I really like this one. I love the backs. Love the backs. I love the, the artwork. It's got a very haunted house vibe. I love haunted house stories, you know, um, stuff like that. So this one I really like, but I have never used it. Um, I've just never used it. <laughs> I don't know what to say other than I like it and I've never used it. <sighs> and you gotta wonder if I've never used it, will I use it again? Will I, you know, if I got, if I gave it away or sold it, would I wake up one day and say, oh, if only I had my tarot of a haunted house. I would want to use it for this thing, you know, or is it better to to find another home for it? I don't know. I'm such a fan of Sasha Graham, this, which is why I, I bought that one. I said, and I love haunted houses. I'm like, yes, all the things I like. So this is um, Rorig Tarot. This is a Spanish edition because I did not find the English edition when I was looking. And yeah, this is an interesting deck. Uh, the artwork is very uh, fantasy-like. Um, these are the backs. So, um, El Mago. All the, uh, all the titles are in Spanish, but that's okay. And I got the English uh, guidebook that goes with it. So, um, there's a lot of breasts in this artwork, which I am not against breasts in any way. However, sometimes it is odd to just, um, I mean, not in like a, see like there's Los Enamorados, the lovers or whatever, and it's not there. Some lady, naked lady with the lion, which is perfectly fine. Naked ladies are good. We love, oh, see there. So for instance, there's just in the double card. I guess that man has an issue with, and it, uh, yeah, it's like not like on women, just kind of like, but I'm sure a lot of people know, um, I'm sure everyone's familiar with this stuff, but maybe it just seemed like it was on more cards. I love this card, love this card. So many beautiful, like look at that. So many beautiful cards. Like, I just, that stood out to me as being, um, odd breasts, but, because it just, they just seemed out of place, but I'm not in this man's head, so I don't know what he's thinking, the creator of this deck. And, like, some of the places they turn up, like this, this one, the Ten of Swords, the Ruin, there's a breast there. So... Hmm. But the artwork, I mean, I just love the artwork. So I'm just like, with this deck, I've never used it. And I'm like, I like the, I like most of the artwork. Um, the, the guidebook doesn't have very much information in there. Um, and so I don't know, you know, the, the artist thinking um, behind the cards. This is a horrible box. I mean, it's like cardboard, it's falling apart. This needs a better place to live, but I don't use it enough like to justify spending money right now on a on a um a better better place for that one, unfortunately. Okay, Cosmic Tarot by Norbert Loesch. E G M. So, oh, poor little box. This one, another one where I really like, I really like the artwork. I have the guidebook. Um, I would like to learn more about it. Um, I'd like to use it more often because it's so cosmic, but um, I don't know. 
I just don't seem to ever find the opportunity to use this one or if I have an opportunity to use it I just you know don't so you know like if I'm looking through decks I'm like which one should I use it's it's never this one so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one and look at the backs they're gorgeous and let me find some of the um Like this, I think, is on the box. The High Priestess is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah, the Magician. Amazing. I love it. The Fool <laughs> is interesting. Um, yeah, just beautiful cards. But, um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Just ends up in that little cabinet, not getting any use. And so this is a fun one that I found and I actually do want to try to use. It has, it's another one of those ones that I'm waiting until I read the guidebook, which is kind of involved. Um, this is the Brotherhood of Light Egyptian Tarot, uh, created by the Church of Light. Um, a companion to the book, The Sacred Tarot by C.C. Zane. And the artwork is by Vicki Brewer, designed by Vicki Brewer. It's a U.S. game stuck. And um, it has like a little white book, which has like a, a good bit of information in there. Um, and I, I do have the book um, that goes with it, but I just haven't had the chance to read it. So here's the, um, the back of the cards. And so they're very... Um, kind of minimal um, especially so like here's some of the majors and let's see we get into the I don't I don't think it's 78 cards either let's see if it says no, it's a 78 card deck with instruction booklet but oh yeah because it starts at one so that's an, so it starts at card number one and goes to card uh, 22 in the in the majors it looks like and then um, there's some quarter cards there's the kings and the queens and the, the jacks I guess there's a J and there's the, the H people I don't really know what <laughs> the, the correct titles are but then when you get to like the minors you just have like so these are the aces are just um, you know like a, it looks like a constellation perhaps in like a symbol and um, these are the twos just you know they're very hippish cards um which i am intrigued by and i want to read the book and learn more so i'm going to try to keep this one around for a while and see if um if i do actually read the book and learn more because that would be interesting i'll work on that later and so this is um around deck. This is really interesting. This is the New Earth um, Tarot deck uh, by Kate Silver and Charlene uh, DeLong. This is the first edition. Um, and these are the backs. So you can tell on the back like there is a definite um, uprightness to the back of the design because of the um, you know the triangle inside the circles. So uh, I like the colors in this in this card in these cards <laughs> not just this one on all the cards um, they're just very nice uh, cards and I uh, was so excited to get them I'm like yes because I love I love mother piece I just really into round decks um, but I love that one that's interesting but I do love it and I like how she has like the different shape behind her the Empress and then the Emperor has like the square and then the Hierophant star. So um, I do have the guidebook that goes with this as well. And I would really like to read it and learn more about it. And and use it because I'm a big fan of round decks. Or at least the only other round deck that I have, which is Mother Piece. I'm a big fan of that. But, you know, um, just wasn't in the cards, so to speak. So I have not spent any quality time with this deck. But it does fit in this regular bag. 
um, pretty well. And my mother piece fits in like a regular tarot bag. It's just like a fairly large bag. So like it all squeezes in there. So I'm going to try to get through two more ducks in this video. Um, and these are both um, Adoring Virtue and Radley Valentine decks. Um, I'm not going to get too much into Adoring Virtue. Um, however, I do like Radley Valentine. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of his and I like his work. And he seems like a very sincere person and just very lovely and so um and so i and i got these ducks um this is the fairy uh tarot cards and this one i do really like the um the angel tarot cards and i will have to do that one in another video um these cards the fairy tarot cards i like because they have the the silver edging and um, these are the backs and I like these cards. Um, I mean, I can't say that I'm a huge fan of the artwork. I really um, am not. <laughs> but the uh, subject matter and the intention and the, um, I like the little meanings on the cards. At first, I thought that was going to really get on my nerves. Um, just like the giant borders and the different colors. I thought that was going to really get on my nerves. And, um, and it doesn't. It actually, I think, um, I've kind of gotten, because I guess the, um, the suits are different than traditional suits because they're the seasons instead of, you know, like uh, cups, wands, swords, and pinnacles. Um, the colors actually do help, I think, me in this say, okay, now when I'm, when I have them set out, instead of just like summer, 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 I kind of, if I get the color association, then it helps me remember everything else. I don't know. That's just been working for me. Like, so the artwork on this, not my favorite artwork for The Fool. I do like the title, The Dreamer. Um, and then it says, embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure, trust yourself. And if that's all you knew about that card, I think that would be, that would be nice. Of course, it could mean so much more, but it's nice sometimes if you're doing a reading for somebody else to just have that so they can kind of see, um, the meaning themselves. And I think it's also, um, helpful for, I don't know, just like pulling a quick card and then it's just, you don't have to it's just right there and while I enjoy learning all about see this um, is chipped it actually came that way it could be because of the gilding I suppose but I don't know it doesn't seem to bother me very much it was an incredibly pricey deck so so there you go good for when I just want to pull a couple cards about something and um, I don't have time to like sit and contemplate and journal and meditate and that kind of thing. So this is a guardian angel uh, tarot card. And these I thought for sure. Um, I did not actually go out and purchase these. I was given these. Um, and I thought for sure I was like, oh, you know, like I'm really not into this like um, doily look with the fairies um, or the angels. I know. I mean, that's just not my cup of tea. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I think that that's lovely. It's just not something I would go out and purchase. But, and then, and then on the cards, it's like half of a card of a picture. And then the other half is this whole long message. And I'm like, whoa. You know, and the pictures themselves, they, they don't do much for me in the way of, like, being able to intuitively draw meanings um so then and i have to think okay 21 so while i know that's the world um and so i can go from there but the the meanings are actually really interesting so this one's successful completion this is a time of incredible accomplishment you're justified in feeling joy a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done you've been blessed with many spiritual insights soon you'll begin a new journey but for now take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true that's quite a long message to have on the front of a card however um when i have used these it's been incredibly uplifting and so um like even this the five of emotion you know fives are generally fairly um you kind of can get a, a meaning from 
from that image though. Some of the images are easier to read, um, but they all have these long, long, I mean, this, look at this image. This lady cracks me up. She has like the longest torso and the smallest waist. Um, but the meanings have been really helpful. And, and even though this wouldn't be like for shadow work, this would be like for after I did some, some shadow work or after I had a problem and I just could not deal with, um, I, I have some decks that just are so, <laughs> so tough uh, to work with sometimes. And this is just one of those like easier, easier on you type decks. And I really, I really appreciate that sometimes. There's been times where I really, really needed um, just something like uplifting. And even if it's not like everything's gonna be fine, it, it says the message in a nice way. And so I, I, I actually have enjoyed this deck more than I ever thought that I would. So that is um, the Guardian Angel Tarot cards. And so let's see, this video we've covered. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, 12. So another 12. I thought I had more set out than that, but 12 decks is good. So so that's another 12. So I think that's 24 total. So 24 down, and I will have some more coming up for you um, soon. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again later. Bye.